Welcome back guys, it's the Tightwad, and today we're going to show you how to replace your old thermostat with a new programmable thermostat. If you do want to go a step farther and go from a programmable thermostat up to a smart thermostat that'll work with your Google Home or your Alexa, then click the video shown in the top left corner and you'll see how I just installed a Nest thermostat downstairs. So since I installed that Nest thermostat, it freed up this programmable one to move upstairs in our less essential area of our home. So today I'm going to be removing this one, showing you how to not only install this and set it up, but how to wire it, which is essential. So let's go ahead and get started. You will notice that there are little tick marks on the timeline at the bottom of this video. I've added chapters to the video so that if you need to skip any parts that are not essential or important to you, you can click in the description and see what those are and jump right to the section that you need. I always record my videos assuming that you have no knowledge of the subject matter, so I do take it slow and go step by step. We obviously need to remove this old thermostat from the wall, but first we need to cut the power to it. And to do that, we need to go down to our breaker box and find the switches for our furnace and for our AC and just go ahead and flip all those off just to be safe. I came down to my breaker box and I found the AC unit, which I don't think these need to be turned off, but better safe than sorry. These are probably for our outside unit. And then we have our furnace right here, which is definitely something that needs to be turned off. So we'll flip off both of those sets of breakers. If you have dual units, like I do, you need to check the other panel as well to make sure you don't have any AC or furnace breakers in here. With the power cut off out of the breaker box, I'm now going to remove this thermostat. Most of them either have tabs on the right-hand side but or they lift up from the bottom like this one. So you can just remove it. You'll see we have batteries in there. And then here are the connections that plug into this section of the wall. With the thermostat cover removed, you can now take a picture of the wiring layout for this thermostat in case you ever want to install it somewhere else in your home. Now we need to remove this plate from the wall. It has two screws. You can use a flathead screw or you can use a screwdriver that has the removable tips. That's typically the same size as these screws. Now with that, you can carefully pull this away from the wall. And now we need to remove the wires from the thermostat. To remove these wires, you just need to loosen these little screws. It's very helpful to have one of these glasses repair kits that has these small screwdrivers in it because it can get down in there. Hopefully your wires were installed in the right spot and you can check the, the letters for each of the wires right here before you pull them out. So this is a C and R for the red. There's a jumper going from the R to the RC right here. There's a little uh, brass colored jumper right there. And then there's green, yellow, and white. So the colors on your wires should match up with the letters here, with the unusual one being the C, which is actually the blue wire. With your wires removed, you can straighten out these wires a little bit to make it easier to remove the wall plate. So just kind of group them together and the wall plate should slide right off. Now we have our new wall plate, but whenever I stick it up here, you'll notice that I see some of my painted lines around here. So I'm going to need to get my paint out and sand this down a little bit and then paint over with the matching color for this upstairs area of my home. I do have a little bit of a ridge here where the previous paint was applied. And if you're gonna do it, you might as well go ahead and do it right. So I'm gonna get my sanding block out this is a sander from Microjig. I will put a link to it in the description. I really like it. It fits really nice in your hand. These are replaceable sheets of sandpaper here, and it makes it very easy to knock out jobs like this. I try not to go too far out from it because I don't want to remove the texture from the wall. So now I'm going to take a wet paper towel and lightly wipe that down, and then we'll get some paint on it. I'm just wiping it off to get the dust from the sanding removed and then I'll run my finger across it to make sure there's no lip there anymore. And I'm actually going to use a paper towel to touch up this today so I don't have to get a roller dirty. And it does a decent job of keeping the texture consistent with the roller marks. So first I just get some paint on the wall. Then come back with a dry paper towel and just kind of blot it and it's gonna add that texturing. Now we're gonna let this dry and we'll come back and install our plate. With our paint mostly dry, we can now put on the new mounting plate. And since it's the same brand, it should line up 
with the holes from the previous plate. If not, you can just put new holes in. But you can see on mine, the holes do line up. Some plates will have a level built into them at the top. This one says level here, so it gives you some nice even plates to set a level on to make sure that your thermostat is going to be level on the wall. I'm just going to eyeball it for now. I'll come back later and adjust if need be. Now it's time to get our wires into the ports on this one. Remember, I did take a picture of the thermostat before I removed it. Uh, if you have a new thermostat, it should have come with documentation, but this one has the RRC here, so I will need a jumper from the R to the RC, but I'm gonna put the red one in R. As you put each one in, make sure you tighten down the screw completely. And then we'll have the jumper from the R to RC. We next have our yellow here. We have our green here. And our white on this one goes to the OB. And we don't use the blue for this thermostat. I do need to install this jumper on the red, so I'm gonna remove this red cable and put my little jumper in there first. It's just a little wire that goes from the R to the RC. So if you lose this, you can get a small piece of copper wire and put in there, but the jumper just goes in like that and the wire actually goes into the R. With the jumper and the red one in, I'm going to tighten this down and tighten on the other side of the jumper as well. And again, on this thermostat, the blue is not needed, so I'm just tucking it behind. It's fine to leave it exposed. And then you just have to get everything back flush with the wall and lined up with your wires out of the way. Try not to bend them too much, so no sharp turns, but a slow turn like that is fine. With that done, I should be able to now put on my thermostat cover and it'll click right into place. And I can see I'm a little bit low on this side, so I do need to pop it back off and raise this side up. Now this thermostat was already programmed for my house downstairs, so I can simply turn on the power and then run my schedule and I don't have to make any adjustments. With everything wired and in place, it's time to turn on our thermostat and our AC unit back in the breaker box. As always, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithms. And also, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below, and I try to respond to all of my comments. Click any of the videos shown on the screen right now and they'll open right up in your device. If I ever have to post a follow-up video for this, I'll make sure it's on the screen now and somewhere linked inside the video. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day.